visualization series, we are going to be working on a lot of side plank variations, really working on that lateral stability in the frontal plane. So the first exercise we're going to use is we're here, knees together, elbow tight. You have a tendency of the elbow, the shoulders you want to dip towards the ear, push your elbow into the ground, engage that lat and your side oblique here. Pinch knees together here, pinch feet together. Really get those adductors to fire. Lift hips, squeeze glutes. So you're doing an oblique movement here where you're getting all this to fire, but then you're also hipping in forward, working on that hip extension. We hold this for a maximum of 10 seconds. This is what I've been using in my back rehab recently for my low back. My lateral stability was kind of shot, which caused for this to protrude. And this has been a great exercise in getting this, these sides to anchor the quadratus lumborum, the oblique and that lat to really latch down. So here we're just squeezing, 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 normal breathing, okay? So that's where we're on that first one. Now that's gonna help really get the QL, which is the muscle that connects our rib cage, bottom of our rib cage, our pelvis, and this oblique here and into that lat. That's gonna get the entire unit to fire on both sides, because if we can keep that anchored and solid, that's gonna give us the ability to then change movement in these lateral planes of movement. So anything side to side here, we're stable, we're able to work. That's also gonna work in conjunction with our adductors and abductors, which we'll look at in some other stuff in this uh, video series, but that's our first one right there, guys. But including this in your daily warm up, just it's really a fundamental movement pattern. It's gonna go a long way in helping you to move optimally, efficiently, and to feel your best.